This video is about mechanics in Rocket League Sideswipe. In this video, we'll go through every single known mechanic currently in the game, from the absolute basics like jumping, air rolling, and recharging boost, to the most advanced mechanics like these. Basically, if you're new to the game or you're just wondering if there's anything you've missed, then you've come to the right place, because this is how to do every single mechanic in Rocket League Sideswipe. To do a low jump, tap the jump button. To do a high jump, hold the jump button. To do a double jump, press the jump button and then press it again. When you do this, you'll notice that this indicator goes from green to grey. The grey indicator means that you don't have a jump. If you want to turn off this indicator, you can go into Settings, Accessibility, and uncheck this box. And just to note that there's no time limit between when you do your first jump and when you do your second jump. You can do it as early as you want, or as late as you want. And to do a super jump, jump once, and then just as your wheels touch the ground, jump again. To do a flip from the ground, jump once, and then aim your joystick in the direction you want to flip, and then jump again. And if you're in the air, just aim the direction you want to go, and press jump. And again, there's no time limit on when you do your flip. You can do it straight away, or you can do it whenever you want. If you hold boost, jump, and then flip, that's called a fast aerial, and it's the fastest way to move around the field. Particularly useful when you're going up for a high ball and you need to get there fast. If you fall off the ceiling, it's the same as jumping off the ceiling. You can only jump or flip once. This also applies to flying off the walls or the floor. You can stay on the ceiling by flipping into it like this. Just aim your joystick towards the ceiling, wait till your car falls off a little bit, and then press jump. While you're on any surface, such as the floor, walls, or ceiling, you will recharge both your boost and your flip. When you're in the air, the direction you aim with your joystick affects your movement. If you aim up, you'll fall more slowly. If you aim down, you'll fall more quickly. And if you aim to the sides, you'll slowly fall in that direction. You can roll your car using the continuous air roll button. This mechanic, however, is mostly useless and can actually get in the way of other more advanced mechanics that we'll talk about later in the video. On touchscreen, you can disable this feature by going into settings, then accessibility, and unchecking this box. I recommend disabling it. You can also air roll your car using the half air roll button, which is extremely useful for advanced mechanics as well as general car control. On touchscreen, it has two modes, single press and double press. I recommend single press, which you can enable by going to this setting and checking this box. You can turn your car upside down by letting go of joystick, jumping, half air rolling, and then pressing and holding jump. This is called turtling, and it's one of the most useful mechanics in the game. Is it though? No, it isn't. Oh, damn. Sorry. In addition to being able to recharge your flip on the floor, walls, and ceiling, you can also recharge it on the ball. When this indicator is grey, meaning you don't have a flip, just put the bottom of your car on the ball, you'll see this white flash as well as the indicator turning green again, and now you have your flip back. This is called a flip reset, and it's one of the most useful mechanics in the game, hands down. If you already have a flip, and you go for a flip reset like this, this is called a stall. To do it, just position your car so that the ball is directly above the roof of your car. Then jump, half air roll, and you'll get a flip reset. And there's your stall. You can chain multiple stalls together by doing one stall and then immediately half air rolling again to reset your car's position and following it up with another stall. Repeat this over and over, and we call these stall chains. And on top of being able to recharge your flip on the ball, you can also recharge your boost. Again, put the bottom of your car on the ball, and if you do it long enough, you'll recharge all of your boost. 
And just a note on this mechanic, the two most reliable ways to get a boost reset are from the side of the ball like this, or when sandwiching the ball between a surface like the ceiling and the bottom of your car. Trying to do it from underneath the ball in midair is extremely difficult and most of the time will only result in a tiny bit of boost, so I don't recommend it. You can do a regular flip shot like this two different ways. One is by putting your car this distance or further from the ball and then flipping towards it. You can also do it when you're really close, by aiming your nose slightly away from the ball when you flip. If instead you're within this distance from the ball and then you flip towards it, you'll do what we call a red shot. It's also called a power shot or a blue shot, and it's one of the most common shots you'll see in the game. Super useful for straight shots that you want to commit to. You can use the red shot to do a ceiling pinch like this, which is really useful for attacking plays. You can also use the red shot to do a wall pinch like this, which is really useful for defensive clears. There's no real trick to either of these pinches, just basically hit the ball more on the side for more power, or more in the middle for less power. If you place the bottom of your car within this distance from the ball, let go of joystick and press jump, you'll do a purple shot. To get more power on this, make sure to make contact with the ball before doing the purple shot. Or to get less power, don't make contact with the ball. In short, this is all about the momentum of the ball when you purple shot it. If the ball's moving away from you, you'll get more power. If it's moving towards you, you'll get less power. A purple flick is where you get the ball on your roof, jump, half air roll, and then purple shot it up like this. This is one of the most useful mechanics in the game and is great for flicking the ball over a challenging opponent. A purple reset or purple ceiling pop is where you sandwich the ball between the bottom of your car and the ceiling and purple shot it down like this. A purple bounce is the same but on the ground. A stall to purple is a combination of a stall and a purple shot. This is one of the best ways to do really powerful purple shots because of that initial touch from the stall. If you place the bottom of your car within this distance from the ball, aim your joystick away from the ball and flip, you'll do a gold shot. To get powerful gold shots, exactly the same as with purple shots, hit the ball first and then do your gold shot or to get less power, don't hit the ball. Again, it's about momentum. A horse kick is when the ball is behind your car and you gold shot it like this. A gold pop is where the ball is above your car, you let go of joystick, jump, then aim down and gold shot it up like this. The follow through gold shot is where you do a gold shot but immediately aim towards the ball after your shot, meaning your car follows the ball. Hence the name, follow through gold shot. The Moxie pop is where you combine the gold pop and the follow through gold shot. A stall to gold is a combination of a stall and a gold shot. This is another really great way to get a powerful shot because of that initial touch on the ball from the stall. If you fly at the ball facing upside down with the ball in about this position here, and then front flip and get a flip reset, this is known as a white shot. If you're closer to the ball, you'll get a soft hit, and if you're further from the ball, you'll get a harder hit. This is super useful for chaining multiple hits together like this, and it's one of my favourite mechanics in the game. If you're down on the ground and you drive towards the ball, jump, aim diagonal down and jump again, you'll hit the ball high up into the air like this. It's known as a wave dash scoop, and it's a great way to chip the ball over your opponent, even from a kickoff straight into their goal. And the final mechanic is one of my personal favourites, the manual flip. This is where you use your joystick to hit your car into the ball like this. It's really useful for when you don't have a flip, but you need to keep the ball in the air or take a shot.
And that's it. Those are all the mechanics that I know of that are currently in the game. Before I go, I just want to say that I've already made individual videos on pretty much every single mechanic that we talked about in this video. So if you need an in-depth tutorial about any of these mechanics, go check out my channel, because you'll definitely find a video about it there. And let me know down in the comments if you think I forgot any mechanics that are in the game that you think I should have included. Or if you think I included some that shouldn't have been included, because I'm sure there'll be a few of those. And come join the Mogs Discord server if you want to hang out with me and other Mogs viewers. And go check out my second channel if you want to see me play Sideswipe, Rocket League and other games with live commentary. And like the video if you liked it, dislike it if not, subscribe for more videos like this as well as a whole bunch of other Rocket League and Rocket League Sideswipe content. As always thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.